Hello, I am here at our Rehoboth Brew Pub with our good pals George and Nancy of Home Sweet Homebrew fame. Home Sweet Homebrew is the original good beer mecca in Philadelphia before there are brew pubs or breweries in what is now considered one of the world's best brewery cities. There was Home Sweet Homebrew and a number of us that started breweries in the mid-Atlantic bought our first ingredients from George and Nancy. I'm not sure if any were as foolish as me and kept going by, back and buying brew, ingredients for a brewery for many months at a time uh, from George and Nancy. I didn't even know you could buy wholesale ingredients <laughs> and uh, they were sweet enough to, to sell me uh, all the grain and barley and hops and even yeast packets that we needed when we started Dogfish in 95. And now, 27 years later, there's another momentous anniversary uh, which is uh, George's birthday. He turns 60 this year. How's that feel, buddy? Uh, better than not turning 60. It feels <laughs> way better. It could be, could be way worse. And so these two are some of the two of the youngest at heart people I know in the last month. I think they've seen Fish. They've seen uh, Nick Cave. Uh, you've seen, uh, what's the hippie one? Trigger, Trigger hippie. hippie. Trigger Hippie. Not Trigger Happy, <laughs> which is that chick who's saying if God was one of us. What's your name? Joan Osborne. Osborne. Joan Osborne. Jackie Green, Steve Gorman. Yeah. So they're hardcore beer lovers, music lovers, lovers of life. So of Don't course, forget food. And they're lovers <laughs> of food, which we'll be having in a little while. We had corn dogs and chicory stout for breakfast. Breakfast um, of champions. Bre breakfast of champions. And uh, But lovers of uh, celebration as well. And so tell us a little bit about how you guys are, are doing this beer liquid celebration for the 60th. Well, I basically decided to uh, to hook up with a bunch of my brewing friends. Uh, Sam's the first because uh, he's the biggest, I guess, of the the crew at this point. And uh, brew some beers to uh, to celebrate the occasion. Have have a have a lot of fun in Philly with it. And also, uh, specifically with the beer we're doing here, uh, we're going to try to raise some some money and some awareness to to fight Parkinson's disease. I'm dedicating it to a friend of mine, uh, Paul Koff who uh, passed away over the summer. Uh, your friend was a, a great uh, um, regular at, at Scotts' awesome Yeah, he hangs bar. at the Grey Lodge a, a bunch. Uh, in fact, they have one of his poems on their website that yeah. he wrote years ago when one of their other regulars passed away. Wow. And so what's the tradition with his wife and this label? What's happening? She's, with a, she's an artist. She's an illustrator. So she took one of his poems, Giada's Blues, and illustrated it, did a beautiful rendering of the poem so that's the name of the beer yep so say that's the name the of the beer, beer. again giotto's, giotto's blues. blues giotto's blues so and describe the ingredients in it george um we're using a a mixture of pale and toasted malts and we're going to be uh adding some interesting spices some orange peel some coriander some orange some uh nice. grains of paradise some anise licorice. and some licorice root that's going to be a uh, dark, strongish Belgian ale, and including maple, maple syrup. syrup from the Calagione family farm. And some of those are the ingredients that I bought from Home Sweet Home Brew right when we opened. I bought yeah, licorice root, spices and stuff, chicory yeah. stout. I started buying the licorice root from you in '95, uh, and star anise. A lot of folks don't know the original worldwide stout was brewed with star anise. Okay. So keep I think it. I still have a few bottles of that you original do? world. Can I buy them off you? No. The Vim and Vigor bottles. Yeah, I had to cross out every label. <laughs> yeah, every single label. That was yeah. stupid of me. Uh, well, no. And I think we have the third year on the label because we missed the second year. <laughs> Did you have the year when I ran out of glue and had to use rubber bands? No. No, I missed the rubber bands. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Well, we're glad to have you down here. Glad to be here. And the original Minus Touch, too. In the big bottles. In the big bottles with the with the plastic cork. And some of them would be 700 yeah. milliliters, some of them would be yeah. 800, rarely with the 725. 750-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the good ones. Close yes. enough. <laughs> well, Ben, uh, our brewer's getting the mash ready. We'll go down and, and join him, a fellow uh, Philly-based brewer. And on behalf of both of us, we're really glad you're doing your First Thank stop with us. Sam. Thanks. And Thanks. happy birthday to you, buddy. Cheers. Love Thank you. Both. Thanks, Sam. Love you both. <laughs> Cheers.